So welcome from Cinec Marvels and welcome back to the third episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Continuing the episode and yeah, as promised, I'm back. So previously on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, King Harald wanted to create one and single kingdom with so many warriors, as many warriors as the world has never seen. So he granted the proposal of no war policy between kingdoms and clans and to hand them over under King Harald. And our King Stikeborn or Stireborn, I am very bad at spells. The father of Sigurd granted his kingdom and Sigurd at was his birthright over the kingdom failed, rejected and now we will be beginning with the Sea of Fates quest and also we killed Shiotfe and took back the honor for our reign. Now continuing on and grab your headphones and let's begin the journey. So this is the point we'll start a journey from today. So let's go and talk you to there. Sigurd. What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Nope. I have a quest to complete. No words. Where is Sigurd? I have not had a win all day. I must turn this around. Turn this around with someone else. Very sigurd. So I have to locate it. One Survey the area soon. In. Okay. In case he's inside the courtyard, or it's called inside the Palace. Let's knock. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The war! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No, that belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Shut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. I absolutely agree. So let his father strike Starborn. Starborn. Sorry. <laughs> Take the riches. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. 
I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Winter is here. Speak to Sigurd at the docks, okay? Perhaps I could use this zip line. Yep, I could. The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Obviously. Having doubts? There is. No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Let's go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Think there will be a confrontation between father and son? Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anger, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agir bless your voyage. Let's sell boys to the land, shall we? The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. 
By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. See, we mean to join their army. They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory he brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. For Valhalla. Main journey begins. pulled out of the animals right now. Black eyes with black spots. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? How is a thousand year old character still in there? You should have gone to what it's called back to the soil from where it came. Why not? Mystery awakens here also. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Some quality stuff here. Someone's got mail. An invitation to a fair in Concord. Bring your best crop and you may win a prize. Tempting. Probably bought this at a coffee shop somewhere in Concord. Should be on this one. Should 
boundaries have been set Good. this land is also so beautiful an aurora borealis that never disappears I should do this more often. Relaxing. Yep. Take this. It's beautiful. But it's not normal. is beautiful but not, not at all wrong Oof. I'd rather walk into town than use this exactly There is a kind of thinking I am to do those. Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You going to put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Sean has been busy. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted, just a quick deposit and go. We got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file. Was unknown with a signal beneath it. Signal was a code, led us to a precise spot here, North England. Sorry, New England. We dug and good lord we struck gold, well silver, dominant currents in the dark ages. Point is that it was gravesite, a North Warrior dating to the late night. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. 
Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Guess this one sacrifice was not. Didn't suffice anything. That's quite nice. Long so then. Okay. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. You saved the world and after eight years, it's again in danger. Check my laptop otherwise another that time. Let's talk to the vicar. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. So... Let's get back into the animals. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. The guard is there also. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. You okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can... No, come in. I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. That felt like... England. We arrive in England. A new settlement. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid England. ground again. We must coming? not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia. 
largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say long. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Yeah. If there existed any gods, they won't fight among each other because they all are the same. So before we go any further, let me use the scales for good. Let's do available. Here, one for the headshot. And another for light attack. Or stealth. Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there! Later, Dag! There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled! Exactly. Hold down your horses, Come to! Dad. Stop the boats! Pull up over there! The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. Well, there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Okay. Before going, let's toggle this guy. And <laughs> Shh. 
huge. Before we anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Conducting several trials, we have found this these naval chains will hold up against against even the most durable Danish longships as long as the mechanism is intact. on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford Put another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Careful. Gods, I'm Very ravenous. Strange. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to... Aid! We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Something doesn't feel right. Are not Norsemen. They are too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot as they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Okay then. Magnusons and. 
Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Doc, Eivor! On me! Okay. I think there will be a battle. <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Formberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, Hagen. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these evil bastards! You have what you wished for, Dad. Prices. Right. I will check the longhouse. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and check the longhouse. Passage up way here. Let's go the way around. Eivor, look at this. A noise trap. There might be something inside. I will have a look. Hmm? Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? I sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. 
From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Let us see that. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Mm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters. A few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Okay, then. Let me upgrade. Then we'll stick to Gunnar. Not needed. Still, the recon automatically highlighted in his own crowd's friend. Okay, let's see. 
Let's go. Evasion, what is evasion? Backstab. Oh, increased our stealth. So I was thinking that Okay, let's talk to Gunnar then I'll express my thinking Not a bad place Eivor, not at all Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible for that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Uh, ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Exactly. Take the map with you and put it to better use than they did. I'll just throw on us and milk the boy. Location discovered. So I was thinking here we have to wait. I was thinking if I synchronize this point and then come back here for the raid. It would be better for me to travel, I mean, helpful for me to travel to these parts quickly. So I'll go offline. Daily concept. Wow. What? Just a nice drawing. Whoever drew this, thumbs up. So as I was talking, let me synchronize these points and then I'll come back. So I'll go offline, synchronize these points, fast travel point and I'll come back in a bit. So welcome back. As you guys would be able to see, I have acquired the fast travel access to most of the important parts here around Ravensthorp, you can see. Only this some part other than this mainland are left. So we'll get to there, but yeah, as per our needs only. So let's travel back. Feelings that so that we could travel back.
Okay, now we can go perhaps. Now we can go. We have full heals with us. Now let's go and raid the Alcest Alcestre Monastery. Let's go and raid it. Raiding heavily guarded locations is the best way to find well chests containing supplies and raw materials. Both are needed to construct buildings at the settlements. The raid is done where all nearby well chests have been looted. Bend your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here now. The monasteries will be well gone. Ah! Run nothing up the more sail! Than priests and prayers, I'd wager! Yes, so and wait it. We really need wells now. Sorry for that. More sail! You Salskills got a story. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old. I designed an improvement to our dragon boats. Hold on, good skill. Oh, Beth the Priest, keep silver there. Not hey, right look. now. Look there, a monster. I stand ready. Only say the word. Sail down! All ashore! Take what you can and be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky? What they hide and take it. And kill This alone. Is 
there's more, we should claim it. So soon, and we good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Yep. Blacksmith house building complete. You will stop in camp and camp in done. Ah, this is wonderful, Ava. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. Eivor, what brings you to my humble shop? Tell me about what you do here. If you need weapons and armor enhanced or adorned, that's what I'm here for. I would like to see what you have in stock.
now. I'll see you later, friend. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> That's a nice one. Must be equipped. Seventy pack, seventy stone, seventy. Sixty one, ten more. That's that pretty good. Cool. I probably got the skills from reading, I guess. Mm. So, still, transmission damage, range, range, evasion. What does that open up? Emergency aim. Nice. Evasion. Don't know what evasion is, but let's increase our range attack. Nice. And good. Settling down. Speak to Sigurd. Let's go and speak to Sigurd. Basim, I mean Haytham. Haytham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. So they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Okay. Mm, let's build it. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Let's see where he leads us. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. 
There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see, my face grew stronger than my fear. And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor, I have not seen this side of you before. Do not feed your fear, conquer it. <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here, not today. <laughs> ha! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. 
but that is not my purpose in England. Bassam and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thames. Yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. So, that is how the Leap of Faith is a right event to a free assassin. I must take my leave. So long. See you later, Hefor. No flighting. No. The Saxons. Eivor, in here. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Ravenstorff status encampment. Behold our new encampment, born from a stool, suit heap left behind by the sons of Ragnar. It may look a bit shabby now, but with some effort we will soon be a beacon of trade and culture. We currently have the capacity of the following services: Hidden Ones Bureau, Stable and Aviary, Trading Post, the Rats, Blacksmith. Hmm. A letterbox for messages and requests. Sure. A bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine. Let's see and go to sleep.
regards later. Evo, I hope this room fits your needs. As we grow our reputation in this land and make new friends and allies, it will be important to keep constant communication with them. Randy will drop any letter you receive in this box. Have a look from time to time. Sigurd. Yes. Let's go and meet Mr. Sigurd. I like living in the longhouse. I feel like a Jarl. Hello, Eivor. Ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dad, please. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Look at me. Look at these arms. I am a beast. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Settling down. Best. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I'll see what I can do. The Alliance map. Run with. Speak to run with. Okay then. I think we'll keep it up to there for today. But just before ending, let us upgrade our skills. So, what do we have here? Two more skill points. Range attack, okay. Health, yeah. Health is required to increase. Sure. We have 21 power. Many things to upgrade. These all match the constellation seen on the sky. Kind of. They are designed in that way. Good. Some more facts. Okay, so we'll end it here for today. So that was all for today. I hope you liked the video and please let me know what you liked about the video or what you dislike about the video and feel free to hit the like button if you like it or the dislike button and mention the specific reasons so it will help me to improve my content and yeah gradually it helps a lot as a creator so yeah please do that and 
yeah give your honest opinions and as always i'm open to solutions for good so we'll be back with another bit very soon until then i have a thing to mention thanks a lot a lot of thanks to mr das aka shohar for letting me play this game and yeah thank to you guys for watching it you guys are absolute legends i can't thank you enough thank you for the immense support and everything i'm nothing without you guys you guys are absolute legends so we'll be back with another bit very soon until then Stay safe stay home and follow the rules and keep smiling cause you're beautiful peace out